If you're into fitness and you're looking for the decent smartwatch, I found something which might interest you. A 2021's ID206 with Alexa Assistant built in, which we are reviewing today. Welcome back, it's Adam from Family Pop TV. Stay with us, I'm going to tell you everything about it. This is a budget smartwatch that sells for about 50 American dollars, 45 British pounds. What's making it interesting is that it supports the Amazon Alexa Virtual Assistant. You connect to your smartphone using Bluetooth. The watch has a microphone and a key that you can tap on to create a quick voice command and ask a question. For example, what's the weather? Or control of various appliances in your home. It has a 1.7 inch TFT LCD display which is a bit bigger than the other popular budget smartwatches. It's got a 5 degrees of brightness. The colors are very vivid. Several different customizable watch faces. You can also find more of them in a companion app called Very Fit, which we'll discuss later in this video. The screen is made from curved glass. It looks and feels very premium. It is touch sensitive and it's very responsive. It's got a PPG sensors for heart rate and blood monitor at the bottom. Here are the magnetic pins for the charging cable. Here's the microphone for Alexa. It's got a round crown function button on the side, which is a little reminiscence of the Apple Watch, but obviously it's a matter of perception. The body of the watch is made from zinc alloy material, which gives a pretty sturdy construction, whether the bottom of the watch is made from polycarbonate plastic. The ID206 has got an IP68 certification, which means it withstands the dust, dirt and sand, and it's resistant to submersion up to maximum depth of 1.5 meter underwater for up to 30 minutes. The straps are made from silicon, they are removable and replaceable with any 20mm wristbands of your choice. You can find an Amazon affiliate link to the compatible wrist straps in this video description. It comes in a variety of colours, pink, blue, black, white, red and green. As most of budget smartwatches, the ID206 is sold over several different brands, but they are all the same watch, for example, Let's Come, Jiko, Vigoron, LiveBe, Yonmik, A Finite, Doogee, Trying, and YSNJG. As you can see, it's very popular and sold by the different brands' names in the several countries. It's a different name, but it's still the same ID206 product. It pairs with a dedicated Very Fit app. You have to scan a QR code with your smartphone to get to the Apple Store or Google Play as the app is compatible with both iOS and Android. The connection between the smartwatch and the mobile device uses Bluetooth 5.0. It doesn't pair with tablets and computers, so you have to use the smartwatch only to connect it with the ID206. Menu interface is quite simple. You have to press and hold to change the watch face. Swipe down to read back the notifications. You can read them, you can't reply to them, which is very similar as the other budget watches in this price range. Swipe up to get access to quick shortcuts, non-disturb mode, wrist movement detection, brightness selection and find phone function. Swipe left to get to the step counter, calories burned and the distance travelled measurement. Further swipe gets you to the heart rate monitoring. It plots the data so you can see the graphs of a continuous heart rate over 24 hours and it resets after midnight. And when you got it constantly paired with your smartphone, it collects the data which then can be shared with apps like Apple Health or Strava. We have checked the accuracy of it using a very accurate, way more expensive smartwatch Polar Vantage M2, which has a decent accuracy. As you can see, the ID206 does the job pretty well. It's got nearly the same heart rate readings. Swipe to the next widget and you've got a stress level measurement. This is an estimation based on your heart rate. For example, when your heart rate is fluctuating too much, it will tell you that you're stressed. Swipe it again, you got a sports activity tracking. 
here you got a selection of 14 different tracking modes which are an outdoor run, indoor run, the outdoor walk, an indoor walk, hiking, outdoor cycle, cricket, yoga, indoor cycle, workout, pool swim, open water swim as mentioned earlier it's got an IP68 certification so it withstands the submersion up to one and a half meter, rower and elliptical. It has an automatic movement detection for walking and running only and this can be turned on in the companion app. For any other exercise tracking, you'll have to switch it on manually. This will give you a 3 seconds countdown. After that, it will measure heart rate, pace, step count and travel distance over the entire session. As for the steps accuracy, over several tests my wife has been using ID206 and she counted about 100 steps, but the watch counted 96, so it's not too bad. There's no built-in GPS, so ID206 relies on your smartphone's GPS and uses the maps and the location when the two devices are connected via Bluetooth. You can control your music app in your smartphone once the devices are connected. You could skip to the next song and you could also got a volume control. As it's got the Amazon Alexa Assistant built in, in the app you'll need to set it up first by logging to your Amazon account and then the app gives you an example of what you can ask Alexa. Let's test it. Alexa, how are you darling? As she replied, I'm feeling poetic. It takes around 10 seconds to answer your question. Obviously your ID206 and your smartwatch have to be connected via Bluetooth. Alexa, what's the weather today? So it's 12 degrees of Celsius today. Okay, let's try something different. Alexa, what are we cooking today? Okay, I recommend easy chocolate fudge cake from BBC Good Food. Not exactly what I got in mind. The Alexa Assistant can also be triggered by press and hold the crown button on the side for a few seconds. That's obviously another way of accessing the Alexa Assistant if you don't want to go through the entire menu. SpO2 blood oxygen saturation. This is not an automatic function, it's on request so you'll have to trigger it manually. SpO2, which is also known as oxygen saturation, is a measure of the amount of oxygen carrying hemoglobin in the blood relative to the amount of hemoglobin not carrying oxygen. There's a stress level monitor. Stress scores, guided breathing and mindfulness are all becoming key features in ID206. Sleep tracking, it measures light sleep and a deep sleep. It doesn't track a daytime sleep as more expensive watches and trackers do. Only measures the nighttime sleep. It is okay unless someone works in night shifts, then the sleep tracking won't work correctly. Deep breathing exercises to reduce potential anxiety by exercising the deep diaphragmatic or abdominal breathing allowing your lungs to expand and create a negative pressure that drives air in through the nose and mouth, filling your lungs with air. It's best to perform the exercise seated with your back straight, however, you can perform it while lying in bed or during yoga. In ID206, every time you receive a notification like a call, SMS, app message from Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, LinkedIn, Skype, etc. etc., it vibrates to alert you to avoid missing any important news. The notification for incoming calls are supported and you are able only to reject the incoming call, you can't pick up the call. The weather forecast, this is being pushed from your smartphone when connected. The ID206 has some degree of customization. You can pick and download a selection of available watch faces through the companion app. You can also create your own customized watch face using any photo or image from your smartphone as a background. Scale it and crop it and here we go. It's being sent to the watch almost instantly. 
Now, this is an example of a custom watch face. If you create your own watch face or download the watch face from the app selection, you could only store one watch face and the smartwatch at that time. To quickly change the watch face, just press and hold it for about 3 seconds and then choose between 4 factory watch faces and your customized one. There are several cool features such as water drinking reminder. My missus loves this feature. It's got a sedentary reminder which reminds you to get up and move when you're spending too much time sitting in one position, for example at the office work. Wants to keep track of their menstrual cycle. All you need to do is enter and set your menstrual details in the app and the smartwatch takes care of the rest by notifying you about your next menstrual cycle beforehand. Stopwatch The alarm The timer The battery will last you around 10 days when the watch is constantly paired via Bluetooth with your smartphone which means it drops about 10% of battery per day When you would use your ID206 in standalone mode, which means you will keep your watch unconnected from your smartphone, then the battery will last even 3 to 4 weeks. And that's pretty good. Just for the information, the full charge takes around 1.5 to 2 hours. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video and found it pretty informative. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to Family Pop TV YouTube channel. If you're planning to buy this Let's Come smartwatch, there is an Amazon link in the video description. I'll see you next week. Adam, Family Pop TV.